Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit Fail Coast. It's a little bit chilly but it is only mid-May. But it's the 17th of May which means it's the day that bars and hotels and restaurants and cafes and all kinds of interesting things open. So today we're going to go for a walk. We're going to go for a walk along the pier. We're going to go and investigate the new Bloom Bar on opening day and we're going to go and see what we can see and see what's happening down the pier so i think we'll start for completeness we'll start at this end and we'll go for a walk through the merry england because obviously the merry england bar opens up to the um well, it used to be the Merry England, it's now the North Pier Bar because that opens up to the end of the pier, actual pier itself. So we'll go this way and we'll go through the bar because last time we were, oh they smell lovely. Those hot dogs smell gorgeous. Last time we were, last time we were in front of North Pier, they were actually doing all this up and they were uh, putting the signage up and lost. <laughs> entry! Entry! Entry not take. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that lovely? Hi! That's beautiful. What a lovely job you've made. That's really nice. Got that bit wrong. You can't actually get through at the moment. So we'll, we'll go back. We'll go back the way that we're supposed to go. So shall we go through the amusement? Now the, the lovely peer lady has told them that I'm, I'm coming in this morning to do a video. Welcome to the wonderful world of your peer here. So hopefully I'm not going to get shanghaied and, and kicked out. So this is, this is what we've been missing all this time. It's all shiny and clean and polished and all being looked after to within an inch of its life. This is, this is what Chrissy always calls the, the game of life. Um, because she always says that it's like, it's like being on the, the slots when, when uh, you're getting pushed off the edge. So this is the, the, the top of the um building that is at the the front of the pier so this is a this is a cafe at this end as well so there's plenty of places where you can sit down and enjoy a nice drink i think that one at the at the very end is open there's a there's a cafe bar and a wines and spirits etc at the end there and lovely views. Look at that for a view while you're drinking your, drinking your drink. And then one to the pier. So this is where you would normally come through if you were coming through um, the, the normal entrance from the side where we were standing at the side of the um, pier when we came on. And this is where I start looking over the edge and going, Bleh. I'll let you look, but I'm not. <laughs> oh dear me, that's a long way down. That's a better view. That's a better view for me. Or perhaps looking in that direction. Anyway, we shall, we shall tootle off to the new Bloom Bar at the end of the pier. So as I was saying, I'd spoken to the, the pier's coordinator this morning and told her that we will be popping in today to see what Blackpool North Pier looks like as on the day that everything can reopen. And it's still a little bit quiet at the moment, but it must only be, I don't know, 20 past 11, something like that. This is where the little train runs on this side of the um, central reservation, as you might call it. And the new Bloom Bar and Garden Bar is at the end of the pier. 
so you can sit you can sit in there in the shelter of the old glass conservatory and you can enjoy your gin and your prosecco and whatever tickles your fancy and look at the cool day it's still lovely you just need to, ma need to make sure that if you're dressed for an afternoon of, of um, outdoor drinking that you, you make sure you bring something warm either that or you need to run down the pier and of course there's also as well the view all the way north so that that you can see there that little building right on the end that is the cabin lift at North Shore. Do you see the wind turbines out in the sea? The actual town is, is noticeably busier this morning. Quite a lot of people around actually. It's lovely to see everything coming back to life, but please, please, don't go mad. Just remember that we've still got a pandemic running because I really don't want to end up back in lockdown. There's a lovely carousel in this um, building here with the old horses in it. Obviously things like that are not open at the minute because um, it's a Monday morning. There you go, that's about my, well, I, I was going to say that's about my level. But I think I'd be, I think I'd still be throwing up in teacups. Well, I'd be getting on that and saying, let me off. I thought it might make an amusing video, actually, me going on rides on the pier. <laughs> Children's rides, not the grown-up ones. For the carousel, you might just be able to see. Oh, there you go, you see it over the top of the churn wall. It's beautiful, it's one of them proper big old seaside ones. And then the shelter of those buildings is remarkable because all at once the wind drops. And here we are at Bloom Ball. It's uh, one way entry system. I think this is. Hold on, this is in. This is in, I think. I think. No, it's not, that's out. So, this is the new garden bar. That's beautiful. And that look nice. That looks really lovely. Wow, it doesn't come across on a photograph just how nice it is. That's, that's really, really lovely. Oh, it was closed because it's shut. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. You've got to sign in. <laughs> You've got to sign in on the app. So this is the new Bloom Bar. That's really lovely. It's beautiful. What a lovely job they've made of that. I've seen, I've seen photos on um, Facebook as they've been doing the, the renovation and they've been setting it out. And look at that for a view. Wow. New carpets, new wallpaper. I like that wallpaper. That's lovely. All beautifully refitted. Really like that wallpaper. That's that's really, really nice. It's all credit deal. All credit deal to them. Lovely range of drinks and various different things. So as you're standing in the garden, you can't feel a draft at all because of the beautiful Victorian conservatory which has all been renovated. And then you come outside and it's enough to blow you off your feet. <laughs> so we'll just we'll just go and have a look off, off the end of the pier. Oh, that's windy. 
um, it's all it's all fastened up at the moment because that looks mighty like a bouncy castle to me not sure whether the bouncing the bouncy castle there or whether they're just storing it but oh that's windy now the question is can you remember back in the day when there used to be a jetty right off the end of the pier I can remember that jetty I can remember going on it as well in the days when you could go on it and oh goodness me it was very near to the water so you can have your photo taken and we're going to pop in the Joe Longthorne Museum now a lot of this is not kind of ready for reopening today it's opening later in the season but i've just seen the lady that runs it so i said i would i would pop my nose around the door and just have a just have a look just have a sneak peek so this theater was renamed north pier theater was renamed the john joe longthorne theater oh lovely i see what you mean yeah that's really nice very nice. Yes, um, it's just going to get more, you know, obviously all this yeah, time yeah. and then there was the lockdown and yeah. everything else. So, yeah. uh, so it's all, uh, all an exhibition about Joe Longthorn? Yeah. Very it's good. And is, and is this open during the day normally? Yeah, 12 till 5. 12 till every, 5. Every right. single day. Yeah. Um, and when there's a show on up in the theatre. Yeah, open. They're open in the interval. It, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Very nice. Um, That's really nice. Is, uh, That's really nice. Well, that was interesting. I didn't, I didn't realise that the little museum was there. This is the theatre entrance to, to the North Pier Theatre. <coughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that visit to North Pier on reopening day. The sun looks as if it's trying to come out as well. <laughs> Finally. Um, still a little bit blowy, but where would you rather be than that? Look at that for a view. So if you've not already done so, make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Hit that little bell for notifications. And then you'll catch notifications when we go live and do new uploads and new content and all the amazing stuff that we do throughout, throughout the years and the weeks. And we will see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.